Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. And now that we've completed uh, Starfall Street, let's head on up to the northern part, part of the world again. And let's go straight to the last gym. Which looks like it's a ghost gym, so let's see how that goes. So I believe I could send out um, a few people, a few Pokemon for this. I don't think I have any dark type Pokemon, which is interesting. I have a f I have a few repeat types at the moment, which I probably need to do do something about or just completely rethink everything. I need to just have different Pokemon that I'm gonna switch in and out and stuff, just in general. But I don't know which Pokemon to do that with, so. Gonna do that. And see how we go. Now, which, which way is the out? Just a little bit in between a Pokemon Center and a wall. <laughs> That's the saying that everyone knows so well. Anyway, this place looks really cool. <laughs> no, 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 not again. Ah, I'm never gonna get away from that joke, ever. Jeremy! It's finally time for your last gym, right? I heard from Rika. But I'm, uh, 0% worried about you. I know you got this. Even the Prim Primera seems like she wants to keep an eye on you. Maybe I'll go find her so we can cheer you on together when you battle the gym leader. So go have a b battle that's fruitful for you and for the crowd. Well, if you say so. Guess I have to now. What if I just win? Welcome to the Montevera Gym. Let me register you as a trainer. Your name is Jeremy, yes? That is indeed correct. Great, now in order to face Gym Leader Rhyme, uh, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Monte... Monte... Ah, Montevera Gym. That means warming up the audience for the main event. That's right, you're the opening act. This is just them getting entertainment out of me. This isn't a test, this is just me f making a fool of myself for entertainment. Your job is to get up on- I guess that's all of them, really. Your job is to get up on the stage, show us some dead fierce Pokemon battles, and get the crowd excited before the gym leader's concert begins. You can start the gym test by speaking with MC Sledge in front of the stage outside. Now get out there and have fun. Sounds interesting. But yeah, li literally all of the, the gym tests are just making a fool of yourself for entertainment for other people. This place looks really cool. <laughs> this is this is a good this is a good place. But it's like a stage, but also it's it's also the the arena, which is really cool. Hey you, opening act! Wow, he knows me so well. <laughs> Yo, trainer, you you the one performing the opening act today? <laughs> Joke's on you. My name's NC Sledge. This is the stage right here. And this is the end for you as well. So here's the deal. We're gonna have you do some double battles. That's where you have two Pokemon fight on each side. That'll let you sledge up double the opponents and get the audience twice as excited. The venue will, will be so hot, it will melt the, uh, the Monte... the Monte Ever Snow. Once you get the audience worked up and ready to go, that'll be the cue for the leader to take the stage. That's how you pass the gym test, yo. Your opening act begins as soon as you get up on the stage. There'll be no backing down until you win. Three times in a row, so make sure you're ready. You good on the deets for the opening act and our, and our gym test? Ready to sledge them up? I'm ready. Sweet, just play it by ear. You'll do great. Head up on the stage.
the tombstones in the audience really helps. What's up, Montenevra? Today's opening act will be three back-to-back -back double battles by our challenger here, Jeremy. And the first of three opponents will be a young performer who ta who makes it look like a breeze. The one, the only, Tass. Double battles, that means one plus one, right? Uh, can you do the math, that math? I'm not sure if you can. Here we go. Let's get the hype going. Chop it in Grievard. Brave Grievard? I don't know. It should be fine though. Probably. I mean, Ghost is effective against Ghost, but that means that I'm kind of putting myself in a weird position here. Also, uh, Rubber Vroom is not Ghost. I didn't think I didn't realize that for some reason. I was just thinking it's it's, it's metal because I was trying to get Golden Go, but I really messed that up. So it's still going to work out fine though because we're overleveled. There we go. That's the first battle done. One plus one is two, right? Right? He sounds so unsure. Except he also has five thousand six hundred poke dollars, so he should he should really know. <laughs> the audience's cheering got a little louder. Montenegro stage is all the latest tech. The more excited the audience gets, the more the stage will light up. That's cool. Keep on sledging. You got this. And our challenger's next opponent will be a musician with a bit of a unique style. It's Lani. Lani, Lani. Strong compliments weak. The harmony of two Pokemon battling in unison. Water and Mistrevious. Okay. Well, obviously I'm gonna use Hex. I'm gonna use that against Haunter, I think. I don't know. For some reason I trust Haunter less. Either way, I should be fine. I didn't I haven't seen what level they are because I can't see the the stats at all times for some reason. There's not even like a button I can hold to just see the stats. As far as I know, it'd be, it'd be helpful if there was. If I like hold down a stick, it's doubtful. Oh, hey, nice. That wasn't harmony, it was cacophony. Glad you noticed. Ooh, very nice. The audience is getting re really getting excited. Your opening act turned up, turned, acts turned to the end, hang on, it's not and, turned the cheering and the stage lashing up to 11. What a surprise from a new challenger, who'd have thought they'd sledge it up this much. Next is your last opponent, and it's none other than, me, MC Sledge, the true final boss. Being an MC isn't my only forte, I can battle too. I'll sledge her up real good in a double battle. Well, what's your... your, your levels? Sableye and Drifblim? Which both level 40. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I can just do this, I'm pretty sure, and it'll work out. Because I'm pretty sure in a double battle, if the Pokemon you're targeting is no longer alive, if they if they go down, then that the the move will just auto lock on the next Pokemon, basically. Which means Skeletor just hex is just gonna hit the Sabli. Also, all of these trainers have only two Pokemon. 
It's fine. It was you who sledged me up. I think it. Ex I th I, maybe based on how easy this fight is going, I think they might have wanted us to do the gyms before the other two other things, possibly. Or at least before the Starfall Street. The audience's excitement has reached a, f a fever pitch. Whoa, awesome! That was a great battle! <laughs> yeah, really, well, it really was, wasn't it? How lucky! That was a rare sight! Thank you, Jeremy! Congratulations, you passed the gym test. Give him a round of applause, everybody. So now we're gonna go back inside the, the gym and then come back out here again, or are you just gonna pack up for the day? I feel a scary good sense of unity in the crowd. Perfecto. We're ready for the main event. Come on, everybody, say it with me. This is what you've all been waiting for. Give it up for MC of RIP. Rhyme! Looks like we're going straight into it. Rhyme, 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 rhyme! Rhyme! What's all this noise I'm hearing? This crowd's so loud, it could make... It, it could wake the dead. Well, that's crazy. Let me t uh, tell you what I want to hear. Y'all feeling good? Yeah, we're feeling good! Rhyme, 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 woo! Thanks for the killer opener, baby. Now, get this started for real. Congrats on the gym test. That was sick, yo, thanks. Give us some um, in for rhyme time. <laughs> rhyme, rhyme time? You feel me? Go ahead and tell the lobby staff that you passed. Now it's rhyme time. I need to, I need to do the, that. If you know, you know. Amazing job, Jeremy. You weren't, you were fantastic. A, f a fantastic opening act. Oh, that's crazy. That's the gym test cleared then. Well done. You've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Are you ready to challenge gym leader Rhyme of... Rhyme, the MC of RIP? Yep, let's go. Oh, I should have changed my Pokemon. Very well, allow me to show you the, to the battle court. Well, at least it's not a double battle. Or is it? Yo, yo! Sounds like there might be a rap battle going on over at the stage. It's not a Pokemon battle this time. This time we're rapping. This is my time, this is my day. You're not gonna stand in my way. Listen up, Rhyme. Your reign ends here. You're gonna get rung up by this pro cashier. Pro cashier, while well, I'm about to check out, must must have got your rhymes on a dis deep discount. Please, you think you can step up, step to my game? Fool! I got rhyme right he there in my name. I'm a spectre from which there is no protector, and victory unto me you will render when the crowd sees you're a mere pretender. That's a long, long, that's a long <laughs> the s sentence. You want to end my reign? Yeah, keep dreaming. Buy a book of rhymes, kid, and start reading. I'm done, you won. My rhymes <laughs> totally whiffed, but I'll be back. Maybe after my next shift. Hold up, where are you going? That's all you got? After my next shift? Seriously, bars over jokes, come on. That was over way too fast. It gets boring wearing the crown if no one makes me fight to keep it. Hmm? Hey, my opener's back. You here for a, a rap battle or a gym battle? I'm here for a rap battle. 
Ha, you got jokes. We both know you're re why you're really here. Oh, but I wanted a rap battle. I'm not gonna be good at it, but I want it. I wanted it. <laughs> you crushed my hopes and dreams, man. Anyway, you were captivated by that show I put on, huh? I rap. That's w what's in my soul, baby. Weaving words into a symphony of poetry. Don't try it with me. You won't last one round. I'm like Sableye. My mean look, I'll cut. Look will cut. We'll lock you down. Like that, you feel me? Yes, yes. Yeah, well, let's get to it. You're a Pokemon trainer, so battle me and show me who you, who you are. My music's not all that tops the charts. My skills with ghost types are the best around. Lest you forget it, the name is Rhyme. And I'm known as the MC of RP. Dead or alive, let's make this a vibe. You know, this being on the, in the mountain where it's really co cold actually feels really good for us. Also, this is a double battle. We don't mess around in Montevera. On my stage, we do we double battle. Don't let it scare you. Okay, if you say so, with level 41 Pokemon, I can basically just do whatever I want. Show us an awesome battle, Rhyme, and you too, student kid. I'm the hype man. Get it right. Also, their speed is higher than mine, apparently. A little concerning. I think the only Pokemon that um, terrestrializes into Ghost type is Golden Go, though. Also, hang on, how are they still holding on so well? Did I mess up the calculations or something, or what happened? Houndstone. Nice. He totally nailed that Pokemon's weakness without bat 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 batting an eye. Its weakness was it was terrestrialized into low level. Well, this is not gonna go well, is it? Or are they cheering? Like, are, is that like? Oh. Are, are they actually like cheering? Like in, like in the the terror raids. I thought that was just a bad effect from. The opponent, but I think that's just them cheering in bringing up my attack and special attack. Or something. Let's keep this going. Also, what's going to happen when there's an adult battle with a po 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 gym, gym leader that has a good which will terrestrialize a Pokemon? Which Pokemon is it going to terrestrialize? Protoxtricity, because that one's weird. Weird choice. One of Rhyme's Pokemon went down. Whoa, this is exciting. Okay, so trust lies Toxtricity. Yeah, the cheering is actually just cheering. That's really cool. I was not expecting that. Would you do that? And then I'm gonna do this and that. I might be might have made a mistake by doing that, but it's fine. Because I'm pretty sure Toxtricity isn't a ghost type, so I'm pretty sure that that they're gonna trustalize it. Kick back, relax, and enjoy this last track. Turn it up for a grave rattling good time. When I'm on the mic, even the dead rise up. DJ G Rave over there's sure feeling it. Okay. So here we go. 
we've matched up their power with our own, but we are way over leveled, so we're definitely going to win this. I'm surprised that the gym leaders don't scale to what, how many gym badges you have. Or just badges in general. Well, there we go. Given up on the ghosts, not really my style. I'll let you be the. Ha I'll let you have this one, though, baby. 15,000 poker dollars. Ha, ah, great battle. Chilling and thrilling. You've got spirit, kid. You've earned, you earned my gym badge, alright? And now about a VIP pass to my next show, too. With 8 gym badges, you'll be able to catch Pokemon of any level, and they'll be sure to listen to what you have to say too. I'm feeling so good that I think I'm also going to let you have this. TM114, Shadow Ball. Too bad it's over. Make, make your way back to my stage sometime. Maybe, I'll, maybe next time we'll, we wrap battle instead. Who knows? That's what I wanted the first time. I'm sure you got, uh, you've got some good, some scary good adventures ahead. I'll be cheering for you later. Well, that worked really well. Jeremy, Skeledurge, why, are you, why are you addressing my Pokemon? You did it! Ah, I'm so happy for you. This is the best. I know I said I wasn't worried, but my heart was still pounding the whole time. Why were you worried? And why, why, why would you be worried? I was like double their level. Most impressive, Jeremy. A shining display of talent, I must admit. Seriously, pat yourself on the back. You beat every single gym. Which means... Indeed. Now that you've gathered eight gym badges, all that's left is to take on the Pokemon League. If you hope to stand alongside Nimona as a fellow champion, head to the Pokemon League. That is where you can take on the champion assessment. Assessment. Yeah, hurry up and get to my rank. I'm itching for a battle of equals. I've got to take the time while you're facing the Pokemon League to fine-tune my Pokemon's moves and re revamp all my tactics. Well, good luck, Jeremy. And wish me luck, too. Okay, good, 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 uh, good, luck, good luck, and goodbye, I guess. It's unusual for me to see her so excited, though perhaps not for you. She must really be happy that, she's finally, that she finally has a friend who can keep pace with her own talents. There's a special kind of strength that can only be reached by comp competing with a good rival. Count me among those eager to see how far you, you two can go. In any case, I'll be waiting for you at the Pokemon League, northwest of Mesa Goza. Well, there we go. So now if we check the map and zoom out all the way. We've done all of those locations now. Oh my goodness. But now we can also zoom in again. Hang on, I'm, I'm using the right stick to zoom in and out again, so. But we can now go there and do that, which is cool. There's, 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 there's so much of this world that I've explored. Probably more than I needed to, but I, I, we've gone everywhere basically now. I'm pretty sure we've gone everywhere at least. And that feels pretty good to just have gone pretty much everywhere. There's still stuff that we haven't found yet. And Pokemon that we haven't found yet we need to catch. But it feels pretty good. Now we're getting very close to the... The, ch the champion rank. I just need to figure out what I'm gonna do with that. Because we can go there now. I guess. Which is probably the right choice. Electric train. So what's with this little area here? Ooh, ghost terror shard. That's cool. But yeah. Let me head down to Mesa Goza. And we'll start heading that direction.
think there are a few fights along the way, so. Now, do I want to stick with this team, or do I want to switch it up a little bit? I possibly want to switch it up a little bit. And actually have a bit more type spread. That's probably something I also need to figure out. What, what do I have for Pokemon? <laughs> We're going to have to train something up, possibly. This is not where I needed my Pokemon to be being stored, but that's okay. It's fine. Just fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. There's just Pokemon here that weren't supposed to be here. And it's been like this for a while. <laughs> so what types don't I have? We have... Fighting Steel. I'm I, I like this Poke... I like Lucario, though. It's just Golden Go ha also has Steel. I don't really need that. Dragon flying, water ground, steel ghost, steel poison, and fire ghost. We don't really need ghost, possibly, but golden ghost is so good. Ah, there's so many choices to make. I don't think I'm going to bring Gardevoir back. Zoroark is tempting. Ice bug. I don't know how good that is, though. Ice flying. I think these are all the fully evolved Pokemon. So this is probably a good place to look through. Water flying is interesting, but we've already got water ground, which I'm pretty sure is just... Like, this seems just, just seems like a good... Good good one to have. A dark ghost I don't really need, because we already have ghost. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my starter with me. Psychic Fighting. Now that is tempting. Might put that on the team instead of Lucario. Sorry, Lucario. Then I'm gonna try and replace Rev of Room with something else. Hopefully something else poison. I could go with Venomoth. I don't think Venomoth is that great. But I could be wrong and I need to train it up to find out. I might have to do some training off screen to really, really figure this out. But otherwise, this is looking alright. Clodside is also an interesting decision I could make. But then I'd probably want to figure out something else as well. But let me look at this currently. So we have Fire Ghost, Bug Poison, Steel Ghost. Again, I'm not sure. Water Ground, Dragon Flying, and Fikic Psychic. Fight Fighting. Fight, 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 did I just say Fikic? Fighting Psychic. It's really, it's really, it's really complicated or something, you know, it's, 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 it's a complicated, it, it, it's not, it, um, hmm. Electric Poison. Now that is also an interesting idea. Instead of maybe Venomoth. Less time grinding, possibly. I don't think anything else has electric, so... I guess I'm probably gonna go with this, unless I wanna replace Medicham and Skeledurch and just take out um Quackwavel. Which would be something. But I really wanna keep my my I wanna keep my starter. It's 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 po it's poetic. So I'm gonna just stick with this for a moment and figure it out. But anyway, we need to go to the cave that leads to the Pokemon League. Because we could have basically gone in this direction ages ago. Not that we really needed to. In fact, I actually accidentally walked into here because of the weird warp zones around Mesagoza. Because I just I was just trying to climb up the the mountain a little bit to try and get higher up on the the school and I accidentally got into the warp zone that led to here for some reason. But yeah. This is the path that leads to the Pokemon League assessment stuff. <laughs>